here's the thing, right? I don't know if I'm superstitious, I don't know if I'm spiritual, I haven't really figured that out on my own yet. But, what I do know is this. This place here, at Clawden, there's just something about it. Hello everybody, how are you doing? Welcome to the vlog! My name is Sean, a YouTuber from Edinburgh in Scotland and in today's episode I am here on a beautiful spring day at Culloden, Culloden Battlefield on the anniversary, almost anniversary, today is the 15th of April 2018 the anniversary is the 16th of April, the anniversary of the battle and I've got an important mission which I need to deal with today So the last time I was here at Culloden, I did something that was probably a little bit foolish but ultimately I thought it was harmless and not disrespectful whatsoever and I was comfortable with doing it, right? So I was here and doing a video, which a lot of you guys will have already seen and What I did, right, it was at a time when the heather on the moor here was in full bloom So, innocently enough I thought, I actually cut some heather from the battlefield and I laid some of it down here on the graves at Culloden, right? But I did something a wee bit, maybe naughty Innocent, but maybe a little bit naughty, right? I took some of the heather and I crushed it in this book This is a diary and it was crushed there in my bedroom for the last six months You can see it here actually, I'm going to show you There it is there, purple, beautiful heather from the battlefield um, And it's been in my book in my room for quite a long time and Here's the thing, right? I don't know if I'm superstitious, I don't know if I'm spiritual I haven't really figured that out on my own yet But what I do know is this This place here, at Clawden there's just something about it. There's something about it that's just mystical, eerie, otherworldly. And I think because of what happened here, the thousands and thousands of Jacobite Highlanders that died here in battle against the British, there's just something about it that has to be respected, right? Ever since I did this and took the heather home with me and crushed it and put it in a book and had it in my bedroom, we have had six months of the most horrendous luck in my family. We've had some really, really big health issues in our family with a number of members. We've had incidents and incidents of bad luck happening throughout our family. 2018, the end of 2017, I've just had lots of bad vibes. Um, it's been a bit of a, a challenging six months. And I just feel, I can't help but feel like a weight on my shoulders, like a kind of curse, if you like. It, maybe it's just a pure coincidence that it was ever since that I took the heather off this battlefield. But there's something in the back of my mind, like what if I've upset the, the spirits of Culloden, the Jacobites? And that would be something that I would absolutely not want to do ever. I've got the most respect for this place and the people who fought here, I just hope they, they can forgive me. And it was an absolute tragedy that so many men died here and that the end of the Scottish clan system, the Scottish Highlands, was put down forever following this battle. I don't know if I'm spiritual, I don't know if I believe in all this, but what I do know is we've had some horrific bad luck and I don't want it to continue and I always wanted to come back here to Culloden Battlefield and make my peace with the Culloden Jacobites so that's what I'm doing, I'm here, I've got the heather and I'm going to lay it on the gravestones it's actually beginning of spring here and it's a gorgeous, gorgeous day here in Scotland, in Culloden tomorrow, as I said, is the anniversary it seems a very appropriate moment to put the heather which is still in full flower in my diary, it was crushed and dried that will be something nice to put on the graves so that is my story Let's see what happens. Hopefully the next six months and year turn out to be a lot better because I certainly feel and a number of my family members have felt this darkness. I've got the heather, time to put this right. This is a mixed clan's grave here. I'm gonna pop it down there on top for these guys who fought so bravely for, for their cause. Scottish Highlanders and people from all over Scotland and all over the UK, to be honest, who are here in this battle.
right, so that's it, done. I feel so much better, guys. Probably just a feeling, but I could not let that sit anymore. It wasn't right. Epilogue. I wanted to do a quick epilogue of today's video. Today's video was a short film. It was not a daily vlog. A daily vlog is basically the story of my day. Short films are a bit different. They follow a single narrative and are often very focused on one or two points. And that is what today's video is. And I've done a few of these videos on my channel before. They are kind of like a new style of a mixture of documentaries and vlogs, but they're really neither. What if we smashed that together and called it like a vlogumentary? Vlogumentary, I like that. I like that a lot. They are often short and snappy. And as I say, follow a single narrative, a single story. I think I'm gonna do more on this channel. Aside from my daily vlogs, my daily life vlogs, I'm gonna do more of these. I just need to think about the name for the series. I'm gonna put them all on a playlist. You can find them if you click on the link now and you'll scroll through the, the short films that I've made on this channel. I think I'll call them Sean's Vlogumentaries. That's got a good ring to it. I've just thought of that right now. How about that? Sean's Vlogumentaries. There you go, a brand new series on this channel and today's the first video. There will also be a behind the scenes vlog of today's episode which includes today's short film of the whole day in a few days time. Okay, so back to the normal scheduled programming from tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will speak to you again really soon. Take care.